guys, I know, same sweatshirt. I'm trying to get all of these ones that I can done as much as possible tonight. Because I've got that second book to go through for tomorrow for you guys. I've just got so much information and I want to give it to you guys. So I was just going to do my back to basics witchcraft once a week. But um, with all the information that I'm finding, it might have to be twice a week there that I start posting for the back to basics witchcraft. And then have a third day for all of the other stuff that I plan to post. Um... I don't know. There's a lot of content, actually, and I didn't realize I had so much content for you guys. So I know it's a good place to be. Um, it's just a matter of getting it onto the camera for you guys. So back to our elements, because that is where we are with our Back to Basics witchcraft here. Anyway, I'm going to continue on. I think this is the last in the elements that I want to do for you. No, that's simple witchcraft. That's... Mm, nope. I think that is the last for specifically elements there. Um... Nope, I lied. There is one more page. Um, I'm going to put that down with the thing that I can see so far. That doesn't mean it is the only page. Yep, that is the last page for the elements. But it is always good information to have. Um, some people, like me, I like to, if I'm working um, a spell that requires... Um, certain aspects of water or air or fire to actually incorporate those or if I'm doing rituals or if I'm doing sabbats and I want to incorporate for a specific deity, um, this is good information to have. So, moving on, we're doing our elemental herbs. So for each element, and again, I could very well be missing information. Um, this was written years ago, um, before even I started my channel, with the thought process of my channel. Um, and I've been on YouTube, I don't even know how long anymore. Um, just the years keep going by so fast. So, the earth herbs are Balm of Gilead, Biztort, Cedar, Cinquefoil, Clove, Fern, Honeysuckle, Slippery Elm, Hyjan the Corker, Conqueror, Whorehound, Jasmine, Mandrake, Patchouli, Pine, and Sage. And they work with material matters, physical form, wealth, and career. Air. They start with Ercasia, Anise, Benzoin, Broom, Comfrey, Elder, Eucalyptus, Eyebright, Hazel, Lavender, Lemon Verbena, Majorum, Mastic, Mistletoe, Mugwort, Nutmeg, Peppermint, Sandalwood, Spearmint, Thyme, and Wormwood. And they work with intellect, mind, creativity, breath, visions, and psychic. And again, there are, I have, that I still have to go through with you guys, I have tons of things on herbs, I'm going to make it a complete and utter, uh, new, like, folio folder uh, of the different herbs and then go through like essential oils and things like that. Um, these are just ones that go specifically with this but they have their own individual meanings um, but that's just a generalization as a whole there. The fire um, element, uh, their herbs are alder, angelica, basil, bay laurel, betony, uh, carnation, Celadine, cinnamon, coriander, cumin, holly, hyssop, juniper, marigold, peony, pepper, primrose, rosemary, rowan, rue, saffron, St. John's wort, thistle, and vervain. And they are will, passion, divine within, energy, and protection. Water is apple, ash, burdock, 
chamomile, cypress, catnip, LA campaign, geranium, henbane, hyacinth, ivy, lovage, meadowsweet, myrrh, orris root, poppy, rose, star anise, willow, and yarrow. There are emotions, subconscious, dreams, purification, blood, and fluids there. So those are all of them there. Um, like I said, uh, it's just a matter of reading my writing. I'll try to remember to uh, type at least the elemental stuff out so that um, you guys can have it because I know I went through quite quickly with uh, these crystals and now these herbs. But uh, that's all I have for you for this video. Blessed be and keep crafting, which is...